When I decided that I wanted to dedicate my entire note-taking strategy to an analog system, it became apparent to me that I had to figure out which everyday carry tools that I needed to keep on me in order to do that. And there was a couple of criteria. One, I wanted my writing instrument to be a fountain pen. And number two, I wanted a really good quality paper. Today I'm going to talk about the fountain pens, and particularly pocket fountain pens, and my favorite one, which is the Kaweco. There are many different options out there for pocket pens, and even within the Kaweco line, there are many different options for pocket pens. The one that I'm going to show you today is the Kaweco Sports, and particularly, I guess, the plastic version and the all brass version. These are two of my favorites, and particularly two that I've afforded at a certain time when I was looking at pocket pens. I would love to explore lots of different options, don't get me wrong, but I want to talk about the Kuecos today. Kuecos are a small pen. This one's a Kuweco Sport. When I bought these pens, they were a little bit cheaper than they are today. They were roughly 20 to 24 Canadian dollars, depending on where you bought them. And these days, they go for 37 to 39 Canadian dollars or 28 US dollars. I've got a few different options here. I've got the red, the plastic, and this comes in a lot of different varieties of colors and options and special editions. Koweka does a really good job of basically taking the exact same pen and releasing different styles of colors every year, in addition to all the other colors that they already have. So if you're looking for a particular type of color from for a pen, chances are Kuweco has got you covered. I love the pen so much that I recently just picked up another one here. This is the special edition Toyoma Teal for my bag. And I just love them. They're small. As you can tell, they're, they're pretty tiny. This is about four inches. And when you post them, they grow out to be about five inches. So it fits pretty comfortably in the hand. I've got the plastic versions here, and then there is the Sport. And I've done a video on this guy, a separate video on unboxing it, and I'm gonna do a follow-up video just because I love this pen so much. It's one of my most frequently used pens. I think I just really enjoy having this on me in my pocket at all times. These guys I tend to keep either in notebooks or uh, in my bags. You can deck the Kaweco pens out with accessories in terms of clips. So there's two different styles of clips here. This is the regular clip, and this is a little bit fancier styling clip. Depending on which clip you go for, their prices range from seven to 11 Canadian dollars or four to seven US dollars. So keep that in mind. They're also really light, I should mention right, right off the bat. This is 10 grams. The brass being all metal is significantly heavier. And I should also say that the brass and the metal, there are metal versions of the sports. The, they're steels, brass, copper, they jump in price significantly. They go up to at least 80 Canadian dollars plus. This particular brass pen was 110 Canadian dollars. That's roughly 98 US dollars, 98 to 100, something like that. So what's in this pen when you open it out of the box? It's a twist type, both on the back. This is a medium steel nib. The brass sport here is a fine nib, and you can get them in two different color stylings, three actually, gold, uh, gold, silver, and an all black. And the pen itself comes apart and comes with the cartridge. You can get converters for these pens. I personally never bothered. Once the ink dried out, I have ink syringes. I just topped up with my favorite ink and I've been using these little plastic cartridges ever since. I think they're really cool in terms of the flexibility. If you ever do want to switch out ink colors, you can do that very quickly with a cartridge. And these cartridges are international short cartridges, so they're quite flexible in terms of usage. Do a quick writing sample in terms of the different nib sizes that I have here. I've had these pens in a few different nib sizes. I've had them in extra fines and fines, and right now 
a fine and a medium. Start with the fine here. Sorry, forgive me, this is an extra fine. I'm actually thinking of switching out the brass to a medium, just because lately I've been really gravitating towards mediums as opposed to extra fines. I thought of the extra fine originally in terms of this one I keep in my pocket at all times and it stays in my pocket for quick notes. Here is the extra fine and I thought the idea of having the extra fine just so I can keep it nice and small and simple. It's a very smooth buttery nib. Steel nib. Here's the medium. Now ah, a little bit of fuzz on that, so let's try that again. Here's the medium. Oop, still some fuzz. Let's try that again without the fuzz. So here's the Kaweco Sport in a medium. Buttery smooth. This is inked with a Garnet Red, by the way, if anybody's curious by Faber. And just for kicks, since I've got the blue one opened up in the Tayoma Teal. So that gives you a little bit of an idea in terms of the extra fine in the mediums. The fine I feel is is closer to an extra fine than it really is a medium. And because this pen is mass produced, there might be slight nib variations. So just a word of caution in terms of your expectations. If you can try out the pen before you buy, I would certainly recommend that. This is a German company. I forgot to mention that. Fantastic pen. I really enjoy them and I'll probably keep using them as a pocket pen for the foreseeable future.